Okay, hello, good morning. Hey. So this is day two of actual like hard work and stuff. So we were all like, you know, when you, you go on holiday and you're like, let's not do any injuries or anything like that. So yesterday, Nick decided it was a great idea to uh, about uh, dinner time ish or just after some the afternoon. Yeah. She tripped over a, a, a mat, um, a little lip in the uh, walkway, and I looked up as she did it, and then she's like, she's still going, and she's still going. She must have done about, you know, she must have like done an Olympic sandpit running distance before she planted. And I thought at the time that she just landed on her boobs and she was all right. She turns over and oh my God, hands to the face, she's covered in blood going, <gasps> and I'm like, holy crap, Nick's hurt herself. So look at this, look what a mess she's made of a little face, <laughs> bless her, look at, look. And we're thinking like, you know, she's she doing a good one. She's sat there covered in blood, her hoodie's covered in blood. So, so far so good. First day in, a proper training and we have a major casualty. <laughs> Okay, so the peg game, the peg game gets even worse. Derek, show people what you've got. I have been pegged with a check pin. So if that's on me in a bit, I'm going to kick his damn ass. <laughs> well, I'm getting somebody today, so... Yeah. <laughs> Don't let it be me, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, I swear to God. <laughs> Tor, yeah. this is going too far. Do you have anything to say for yourself, peg boy? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy. Tell everybody. It's my kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, we are improving French and English relations by sticking kangaroos to help. <laughs> Canadians, it's hockey. It's yeah, nothing. it's true. But yeah, I just, I'm just curious, so you guys have been established for more than like 10 years, haven't you? Mm, yeah. She yeah, does. for sure. Yeah, we've been really rolling along since about 2006. How long have you been established? Um, in to us? I have been with the uh, U.S. Women's Program. I guess uh, it's my eighth or ninth year. So how long has the women's program been running? About that time. So we have lots of availability of ice time. So that's number one. And so our girls have places to play ice to skate on and at reasonable times generally. That's the key, the resources and the educating, um, having facilities, having ice, having equipment. So any way that, you know, on the U.S. side of things that we can share that stuff or, you know, help other countries or just expose the, you know, greatness of this female sport. Well, we're really fortunate in Canada because we have a pretty established pair of ice hockey um, system I'd say so um, there's lots of teams and lots of clubs and lots of organization and lots of ice available we have a lot of infrastructure in place because hockey is really important in Canada it's really important in life and you have a small state that's playing yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you get, yeah you get you know 35 to 40 wow. female sled players from all over the United States showing up well that's awesome and we're awesome. picking you know we pick our national team from there the USA v Canada is just about to kick off Excuse me, everybody who's French. Bonjour. Bonjour. And the worst bit. Gotta go get changed in five minutes because we're on next, so I can't watch the rest of the match. Oh. And also, this Norwegian keeps looking at me like this. Do it again. Yeah, that's the one. I think she thinks like I'm crazy or something, you know. <laughs> Screw you, get out of here. Sorry. You know, hey, Nancy. Hi! No! <laughs> As you were saying, no, like, they are like a whole other thing. Whole they're other they're thing. Ne next level. They're, they are amazing. Give us 10 years. Yeah. We, we can have a try. Let's do it. Okay, so we have training now, and then later on, we're playing. Some of us are playing part of uh, Team Europe against uh, Canada. And from what I've just seen there, I am truly terrified to sit in that net. Not gonna lie. Show, let's show our terrified face. I'm gonna be like that in net. You're gonna be like that in defense, and I'm just gonna be like that in net. Oh my god. <laughs> So later on, uh, I'm going in net with this, my, my favourite trouble causer. <laughs> trouble causer. Yeah, my, my, my partner in crime. <laughs> Pegged. Pegged. 
<laughs> and Nancy, what was your advice for the goalies? Um, stop the puck. Stop the puck. That, that was it. You have one one job. Yeah. Rachel, so you're in the middle of the uh, Canada game. <laughs> yes, Jake. Yes. Um, you've just played the first half. How do you feel? Absolutely nothing. Yeah? Do you think it went well? Yeah, I'm quite proud of that. There was a few in the cups, but uh, I'm quite proud. I like, I like four in that time, maybe. Like, they must have had like, a good 20 shots, I think. Good. So, yeah. so, well done. Yeah. It's, it's, just, uh, it's really just been awesome. To play against Canada is like, you know, one of your like bucket list ticks. You definitely like that, I think. Awesome. I know you'd do it, wouldn't you? I would indeed. You'd be on this side now, wouldn't you? I would indeed. <laughs> Get Great. A save, Good job, pal. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> okay. I think these people are trying to kill me. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're trying to kill me. <laughs> We're definitely trying to kill you, right? Yeah, see, they're trying to kill me. And I am so tired and worn out. Uh, just had another good hour of uh, hockey straight after playing Canada. So they're just trying to warm me out. So now it's tea time and I am freaking going in the jacuzzi and then I'm going to die. All right, so this is the Australian duck. It is a one of a kind species only in Australia. It looks very much like a platypus, but it is not. It is not even related. And we are naming this today. I have everyone believing that this is an actual dog, and it's not. And it actually is a platypus. Bad man, Derek. Bad, bad, bad. This week, because this is the first Australian para like athlete. Sarah is our first international para athlete in the history of Australian para hockey. So I brought our dog across. <laughs> It's come out of the bag today, it's brand new. For give you a bit of history, the crocodile and roo have been around the world for 18 years with the Australian women team. This guy's gonna last forever. We need to give him a name. I chose a platypus because he's an adaptive animal. He goes from land to water, water to land in between. He's an adaptive, cool Australian animal. We need a name, so what do you guys think? Patty. 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 Petey. Platypus. Come on, Jake, what you got? I'm throwing in Gary. Gary. <laughs> Gary the platypus. There you go, we're not calling it Gary from Chief Judge Sarah. It's a good strong yeah. name for the platypus. Alan, going Alan nuts. is a good yeah. Nailed it. Okay, I'm gonna put Alan back down. <laughs> Bye, Alan. Who did that? Okay. So uh, I got up at six. It's now ten past eleven at night. Um, who needs sleep? Who needs sleep? Me before I die. That's right. <laughs>